At 9.04 a.m. Eastern Time, a chilling video went viral across social media, capturing the horrifying final moments of UPS Flight High 296 just after takeoff from Louisville, Kentucky. The footage, which spread like wildfire, shows the MD-11 cargo plane, fully loaded with fuel for a grueling Trans-Pacific journey, losing control almost immediately after its wheels left the ground. In the grainy but gut-wrenching clip, the aircraft can be seen struggling to gain altitude, its nose barely up before it banks sharply to the right in an unnatural, almost violent motion. Within moments, it plummets with terrifying speed, exploding into a massive fireball as it smashes into a cluster of businesses lining the takeoff path just beyond the runway. The impact sends a shockwave through the area, with flames and thick black smoke billowing into the sky, visible for miles. The disaster unfolds in mere seconds, a blink-and-you-miss-it catastrophe that leaves viewers stunned, unable to process the sheer speed of the tragedy. At least 12 lives were lost in the blink of an eye, including all three crew members aboard the plane and nine unsuspecting people on the ground who were caught in the fiery wreckage. The emergency responders raced to the scene within minutes, but what they found was a nightmarish landscape of charred debris, twisted metal, and utter devastation, with little hope of finding survivors amidst the inferno. Hey, if this video grabs you, drop a 1 in the comments below to let us know. The details of the crash as they emerged painted an even grimmer picture. Witnesses on the ground described a deafening roar, unlike anything they'd ever heard, followed by a thunderous explosion that shook the earth beneath their feet. Some reported seeing the plane wobble unnaturally just after takeoff, its right wing dipping as if an invisible force had yanked it down. Others closer to the impact zone recalled a blinding flash of light and a wall of heat that forced them to shield their faces. It was like a bomb went off, one local shop owner told reporters, his voice trembling as he described how the windows of his store shattered from the pressure wave, glass raining down around him. Another witness, a delivery driver who was unloading nearby, said he saw the plane's underbelly just moments before it hit, so low that he could make out the landing gear still extended, a haunting image seared into his memory. He described the sickening crunch of metal against concrete as the aircraft tore through structures, skidding nearly a mile before finally coming to a stop in a mangled heap. The aftermath was apocalyptic, buildings reduced to rubble, vehicles crushed under debris, and the acrid smell of burning jet fuel hanging heavy in the air. Firefighters battled towering flames for hours, while paramedics scoured the wreckage for any sign of life, their faces grim as they navigated the hazardous terrain of jagged metal and smoldering ash. The scale of destruction was staggering, with the crash site stretching across a wide swath of industrial land, a stark reminder of the raw power and fragility of aviation. Investigators later confirmed that the plane had been carrying a full load, not just of cargo but of fuel, enough to sustain a flight across the Pacific, making the explosion on impact even more catastrophic as thousands of gallons ignited in an instant. Shortly after the video surfaced, Flight Beware, a website tracking aviation activity, reported that the doomed MD-11 had been grounded for over a month prior to the incident, possibly due to routine maintenance or technical issues. This detail immediately caught the attention of the aviation community, as extended downtime often signals a problem worth investigating. Meanwhile, major news outlets began rolling out updates on the initial findings of the crash investigation. The National Transportation Safety Board NTSB, stepped in, holding a press conference and deploying a team to the crash site to piece together what went wrong. In the 48 hours that followed, the video was replayed countless times by pilots, engineers and aviation experts worldwide. They all seemed to ask the same questions. How could an MD-11, a plane designed to keep flying and climbing on just two engines if one fails, lose altitude mere seconds after takeoff? 
Why did it fail to gain even minimal height after lifting off the runway? And how did the crash happen so fast that there was virtually no time to react? Some answers started to emerge when the NTSB revealed a critical finding during a 4.30 p.m. press briefing on the same day. Engine number one, located on the left wing, had detached from the aircraft right at the moment of takeoff. What shocked the public even more was that this engine didn't just malfunction, it was completely destroyed, with parts of it found scattered near the runway. Initially, this was just speculation from experts analyzing the video, but after investigators collected the debris, the damage was officially confirmed. The remnants of engine number one were recovered and sent to a storage facility for detailed analysis. Following standard protocol, the NTSB began gathering every fragment of the wrecked plane to reconstruct its structure in a large hangar. This isn't just for show, it's a scientific process to pinpoint the exact cause of the crash. Every piece, from a tiny propeller blade to the smallest pipe, holds a clue. Beyond the technical responsibility, this meticulous work is also a tribute to those who lost their lives. As many experts have said, each fragment tells a part of their story. To better understand the tragedy, investigators started reconstructing the timeline of UPS Flight 2976. The MD-11 was scheduled to fly from Louisville to Honolulu, a grueling long-haul route requiring maximum fuel capacity. At takeoff, it carried about 220,000 pounds of fuel, roughly 34,000 gallons. The plane was so heavy that it could only lift off under optimal conditions, full engine thrust, flaps down, landing gear extended, and speeds calculated to the decimal, including the critical V1 speed, the point at which pilots must commit to takeoff even if a problem arises. High-speed airport cameras captured the plane reaching about 184 knots as it left the runway, faster than V1, meaning it had passed the point of no return. Experts explained this aligns with the crew's actions. They had no intention of aborting takeoff because there wasn't enough runway left to safely break. Everything seemed to follow procedure until the catastrophic failure of engine number one. In the split second between reaching V1 and rotate, the moment the pilot pulls the nose up, engine number one exploded. This is incredibly dangerous because jet engines house thousands of tiny razor-sharp blades spinning at up to 11,000 RPM. When they shatter, the debris can pierce through metal, tearing into wings, the fuselage, or even flying across to the other side of the plane. Aviation history has seen similar cases, and this was no exception. Fragments from engine number one are believed to have shot across to the right, severely damaging engine number three. In an extended version of the video, small sparks can be seen coming from engine number three, a telltale sign of compressor stall, a condition where the engine loses stable thrust, emitting small pops and a sudden drop in power. This meant that at the critical moment when maximum thrust was needed to lift a plane weighing hundreds of tons, two of the three engines were essentially out of commission. Inside the cockpit, warning systems went haywire. The master caution and engine fire alarms blared relentlessly. The crew faced a flood of error messages in just seconds. As the co-pilot called rotate, the captain pulled the nose up as trained, but the remaining thrust from engine number two, the only one still functioning normally, wasn't enough to get the plane airborne. The MD-11 can fly on two engines, but not on just one, especially at maximum takeoff weight. Roadside dash cam footage captured the plane banking hard to the left. With no power on that side, the thrust imbalance was severe. The crew tried to compensate using the rudder and elevators, but the plane was too heavy and the thrust too weak to maintain balance. Flashes of light at the start of the video show the plane clipping power lines. 
In its final moments, the MD-11 struck the roof of a warehouse, tilted fully to the left, crashed to the ground, broke apart, and skidded nearly a mile before coming to a stop. All data collected so far points to a stark reality. The plane never had a chance to stay aloft. Engine number one was obliterated and detached. Engine number three was damaged and stalled. The total thrust was insufficient for lift. The MD-11 managed to climb only about 40 to 50 feet before losing all control. The crash site spanned a vast area. Rescue teams, police, and NTSB personnel worked tirelessly to access parts of the wreckage and search for victims. The air was thick with the stench of burning fuel, molten metal, and black smoke. Survivors nearby recount of hearing a massive explosion, like a bomb, as the plane went down. Some witnesses described the ground shaking and windows shattering from the pressure wave. During a follow-up press conference at 7.00 p.m., the NTSB declared this one of the rarest accidents in U.S. cargo transport history. A chain of two extraordinarily uncommon failures, an engine exploding and damaging the opposite engine, unfolded in mere seconds. Experts called it an unimaginable combination, with odds so minuscule they rival even some of the most infamous crashes on record. The families of the victims are grappling with unemotional grief. Businesses in the impact zone suffered significant losses. UPS issued a statement expressing deep sorrow and pledging full cooperation with the NTSB. The global aviation community is closely monitoring every update and report as they come in. For now, the evidence leads to a preliminary but clear conclusion. The MD-11 couldn't climb because it lost two of its three engines just seconds after leaving the ground. This was a tragedy that seemed almost inevitable. If this story hits you hard, don't forget to comment one below. We'd love to hear your thoughts.